Welcome to the Children's Chapel at St. Peter's Lutheran. <clears throat> you know, some things in life are called once in a lifetime. And they are so special that we only get to do them one time. It might be something like um, winning a trophy. Or it might be um, having a role in the school play. Um, or an amazing last-second win at, uh, at football, or um, maybe even uh, a trip to Disney World. Hmm. But have you never noticed how chores that you have to do at home, well, they're just never done. We empty the dishwasher one day, we have to fill it up again and empty it again. We, make, we uh, sleep in our beds and we get up and we make our beds and we have to make them up again. Um, every night we have to do our homework. Every week we have to take out the trash. Chores are chores because we have to do them over and over again. When I was a little girl, one of the most annoying things about chores was being reminded to do them. My mom would say, don't forget to put your dirty clothes in the laundry. And my brother would say, it's your turn now to clear the table. And um, in my family, we would respond to those reminders by placing our finger on our nose like this. You can do that with me. And putting our finger on our nose was our silent way of saying, I know, because know, like we remember in our minds, and nose on our face kind of sound a lot alike. So it was like saying, yeah, yeah, I knows, you don't have to remind me. <laughs> Sometimes... I feel like touching my nose when I read Bible stories. Yeah, yeah, I know this story already. But we tell stories in the Bible over and over because they're special and they're important. Too important, too special to forget. Too special and important to only tell one time. Well, today's Gospel story is found in Matthew chapter 18, beginning at verse 21. And to add to our over and over and over and over, today's Bible story tells us that we must forgive one another over and over. We all know we're supposed to share and be kind and say sorry and it's okay, I forgive you. But in today's story, the disciples asked Jesus, just how many times do we have to forgive someone? They want to know if there's a limit, if we're ever done forgiving. And Jesus says, no, we're never finished forgiving. Forgiving is something that we do over and over, but forgiveness is not a chore. We forgive again and again because each time it gives us a chance to experience something special. Forgiving others makes us feel better. Forgiving others brings us closer to one another. And forgiving others brings us closer to God. Forgiveness is such a big mystery that there's no limit to it. Forgiveness is an over and over lifetime event. <laughs> we certainly know that God forgives each of us over and over. And today we're reminded again in the story that we already know to let others know that we forgive them. Would you pray with me? You can say after me, Dear Lord, we're thankful that you love us. We're thankful that you forgive us. Help us to love. Help us to forgive others over and over for all of our lives. Amen.